Good morning from the land of the free and the home of the brave. I spend a lot of time down here, but Canada is my home. I just want to shoot a quick video out to you guys in our group. This is only going to be posted in our group. The other day somebody posted that I was the leader of the group. And they did it in a rather uh, despicable kind of way and we helped them uh, through the exit door. I'm not the leader of anybody. I'm barely the leader of me. I surrendered my life to the Lord many years ago. He is my leader. He is the one that I follow. And together what we're doing here in this group is for the betterment of our country, is for the betterment of our province, is for the betterment of our city. We are 330 or so strong in this group and we've accomplished much I think in the last few weeks just to become a place where people can park, get sustenance for their soul, get some bearing, get some narrative to balance the other narrative and our goal is to inform people to help them be to become smart, to make better choices. We all are in this together. I know that's a cliche, you've heard it a thousand times. It is true, we are in this group together. We rise together and we fall together. And I just wanna encourage every one of you to do what you can, to bring as many voices to this group as we can. And as we grow in number, we grow in volume as well. And I know there are many people that are sitting there wondering, where can I go? I'm, I'm confused, I don't know what to do. I'm getting a competing narrative here. Something doesn't resonate in my mind, in my heart, in my soul. And that's what we're here for. In some ways we're a community. And I just want to encourage you to do that. Become a welcome mat to people, an encouragement to them. Get them to come and join us. We don't ask anything of them. Just come. Just come and participate if you can, if you want to. But our goal is to move the needle the other way, to move the chains in the right direction. And there's much on the line. The 30,000 foot view of our country right now is very concerning. The 2030 agenda is an, an alarming, uh, it's an alarming goal that will counter everything our country has stood for for 152 years. Today our country is 152 years old. Not everything about it is perfect. We all know that. You're not perfect. I'm certainly not perfect. A family isn't perfect and a country isn't perfect either. But we start from here and we work to solve those problems, to help heal where we need healing. We mourn with those who mourn. And we are going in the right direction here. I truly believe that otherwise you wouldn't be doing so much of what so many of you are doing and neither would I. So let's continue to keep the faith, faith in God, faith in truth, tell the truth. And let's make this country even better than it was before. I'm not going to say make Canada great again. That line was taken and well used under another person who is also not perfect. But let's celebrate what we have. Today is Canada Day. Many of you are from war-torn countries, immigrants coming from oppression. My father was an immigrant too. And he knew what it was like to live in a country that he didn't want to live in anymore. And he came to Canada. And the proudest moment was when he stood in front of the parliament buildings in Ottawa which I took him to, him and my mother. He looked at me and I looked at him and I said, Dad, what are you thinking? He said, oh, I've never been so proud to be a Canadian. He was totally verklempt. And he knew in that moment that what he had done in 1954 was the right thing to do. And he was so thankful to live in this country. And I am so thankful to live in Canada. And you should be too. There is no better alternative. You can't find democracy in a better place in time. And you won't find a perfect country. So this is Canada Day. This is a birthday of our country. Let's celebrate it for what it is, not for 
what it was at different times, but for what it is right now and for what it could be. So keep the faith, tell the truth, and happy birthday to all of us.